This is in the A and the B. This is the lower part of the anal canal which occupies of the lip with an ischio-rectal fossa on each side. This is the lower end of the coccyx attached to the back of the anal canal by the anocoxygeal ligament. The lower part of the anal canal is surrounded by the anal sphincters. Notice the circular arrangement of the muscle fibers of the external anal sphincter. This sphincter is formed of three parts arranged from below upwards as follows. First, the subcutaneous part is the lowermost part and lies directly under the skin. Second, the superficial part above the subcutaneous part. Thirdly, the deep part above the superficial part and is the deepest. On each side of the inner canal, lies an ischio-rectal fossa. This is the ischio-rectal fossa. It is wedge-shaped and is filled by a pair of fat. It is bounded laterally by the obturatum internus part and its covering fascia. In this fascia lies the podendal canal, which passes close to the ischial tibial. This is the podendal canal, running from the lesser sciatic foramen towards the deep perineal pouch. Its course is thus from the hind folds. It contains the pudendal nerve and the internal pudendal vessels. The nerve and the vessels enter the canal from the gluteal region where they cross over the ischial spine and the sacrospinous ligament, together with the nerve to obturate on internus, and are covered by the sacrotubulous ligament. This is the nerve to obturate on internus, which is the most lateral and crosses over the base of the ischial spine to enter the lesser sciatic foramen and sink into the obturatum internus muscle. This is the podendal nerve, which is the most medial and crosses over the sacrospinous ligament. This is the internal podendal artery in between the two nerves. The podendal nerve and the internal podendal vessels run through the podendal canal in the lateral wall of the fossa. Near the beginning of the canal, the podendal nerve gives off the inferior rectal nerve. It runs medially to the external anal center in company with the inferior rectal artery. This is the inferior rectal artery, which arises from the internal pudendal artery. Both branches cross 
لتوصل توصل لا تريد near the beginning of the canal the original name gives off the inferior vector name it runs immediately to the external anal sphincter in company with the inferior vector artery this is the inferior vector artery which arises from the internal pudendal artery both branches cross the first one from lateral to medial near the anterior end of the pudendal canal the pudendal canal is divided into two divisions which are the dorsal nerve of the penis and the perineal nerve This is the dorsal nerve of the penis. Which passes into the deep perineal pouch along the side of the pubic arch in company with the internal pudendal artery. Its further course will be seen later. This is the perineal nerve. Passing to the superficial perineal pouch to supply the perineal muscles and the skin of the skull. These are the superficial branches. which are cutaneous in the terminal they are called the labial branches. Back again to the boundaries of the isquiovectal fossa. This is the labial boundary formed by the labial MRI muscle. Note that it is covered by the anal fascia. Lower down, the medial boundary is formed by the external anal sphincter. The posterior boundary is the receptor tuberous ligament with the overlying gluteus maximus muscle. The anterior boundary is the posterior part of the perineal membrane with the muscles related to it. The lateral wall is formed by the obturator internus muscle and its fascia. The apex of the fossa is the meeting of the lateral and the medial boundaries. The knee is formed by skin and the fascia on each side of the anal pulpus. An axis in the fossa may open into the rectum or anal canal or come to the surface at the base of the fossa. An axis in one fossa may spread to the other fossa behind the external anal sphincter. Now, let us move to the new genital vision.